Hi, good day. I'm here today to give you a lecture about low pressure, low velocity duct system design consideration, commercial type using the manual cube. As I have discussed before, the section number one. Now we're gonna go to section two. Duct system design requirement and duct design parameters. Consideration to be included in the duct design are the function, the environment, the architectural, and the economic consideration. The factors that affect the duct design will be the classification, duct system design parameters, architectural consideration, and the construction cost and the operating cost. Okay. On the classification uh, part of it, we're going to talk about the function and the location, the fat, the pressure class, the velocity, the material, and the shape. Okay, first we're going to talk about the function and location. On the function and location, environmental duct exposure must be considered where's the equipment or the duct system gonna be located at inside the building or outside the building is it negative or positive pressure fumes and moisture will it be a bit, will it be exposed to the type thing and then uh, will it be generating rust corrosion mold moisture and a chemical reaction all of those must be put into consideration. The supply duct and exhaust duct are positive type duct. Return and outdoor ducts are negative pressure duct. And then we talk about the fat of flow. CFM determine the heating CFM and cooling CFM. Those are the consideration that uh, you're gonna use when determining the CFM required, the heating load and the cooling load of the system. Duck fat, you got a hot hot deck and a cold deck, in which the hot CFM will be dictated by the hot deck and the, the cold CFM from the cold deck. And then when we go to the pressure class, okay, on the pressure class, the consideration are we put in are uh, are related to the static pressure inside the duct which is as we consider about the operating limit the materials to be used the shape uh, and then the fabrication technique that will be used that make sure they are compatible to the system that need to be designed design and system use all of the above must be uh, suitable for the service intended okay now we're gonna talk about the ball velocity the following are uh, related to velocity you got the uh, pressure drops noise generating duct uh, construction uh, details and then shape okay because uh, the noise generation makes sure the duct velocity is, is designed right because that velocity will produce a lot of uh, noise in which will be irritating the, the people inside the space that will be working where the duct will be located at. High velocity system operates at high pressure. Uh, static regains or total pressure uh, methods is used for high velocity duct system, system. And then equal pressure method are used for low pressure duct system. Okay, the following are uh, round and oval shape, streamlined fittings, attenuation devices, special design uh, air outlet are used to control uh, pressure drops and noise generated uh, duct velocity. Okay, remember that. Those are, must be added as a consideration in the designing your system in reference with the, the 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 velocity of the air inside the duct and then you gotta go with the material you gotta put consideration on the material 
materials used to be dictated by the operating condition and then economic consideration that makes your uh, money is money that makes you when you design it, design it the material you gotta use you gotta be specified right specified right so you can save a lot of money and then the shape is dictated by the spital spital requirement operating uh, consideration noise consideration economics okay you put that too in the consideration there will be round oval square ducts are, are, uh, <clears throat> are recommended more up with the rectangular duct because you can save more space and uh... okay now we're gonna go to the ducts this duct system design okay now you're designing the the, the duct itself either it's round oval uh, round oval or rectangular in that you gotta design the required CFM and then we know where you're gonna I discuss about where you're gonna uh, get the number into that by cal in calculation using the, the heat load and then design velocity and then this the design pressure on the, the CFM uh, design on that uh, depends on the heating and the cooling load heating and cooling equipment and then the control strategy as you know today buildings are being automated used by electronic control DDC and then uh, remember that the heating and cooling load heating and cooling equipment and then control strategy okay there's what we call a peak block load a variable volume system these are, those are the use for it some of the peak room load applicable to terminal reheat system terminal reheat system those heat system that maybe you might use it at the perimeter heater okay on the design velocity on design velocity architectural limitation on clearance HVAC system that means act, act architectural limitation on clearance HVAC design system equipment configuration dictate whether low velocity or high velocity will be needed okay that means architectural limits is involved in this because of the spaces or the looks of the building duct system velocity design uh, depends on the duct size noise uh, generation installed cost and operating cost and then the maximum velocity uh, dictates by noise uh, friction consideration okay now in the consideration on the design pressure design pressure you depend on the duct duct velocity classification static pressure requirement of the air side uh, accessories total length of uh, the duct performance characteristics of the duct fittings performance characteristics of the HVAC system so uh, when you consider about the, the pressure you got uh, the fittings that's being used the HVAC uh, mm, equipment installed in, inside the duct uh, static pressure okay and duct velocity classification and now we're gonna go to the architectural consideration you got what we call uh, system must be compatible in the building envelope and specification so architectural consult just like I wrote on the board here uh, the architectural consideration is will be about floor plans and the building section the same thing too is the building envelope and then space uh, and appearance on the floor plan establish the the horizontal uh, relation with the ceiling 
building section establish the the relationship of the duct to of the vertical that means building section that means the duct that goes on the vertical vertical uh, position and then we got what we call we gotta consider the construction operating uh, construction cost and you know, you know, operating cost we got the shape as you know size bigger it's more expensive now the shape shape very sensitive to uh, uh, construction cost and operating cost the shape is very sensitive to the shape is very sensitive to construction cost and operating cost pressure uh, it's more on operating cost. The pressure, the higher you gotta use a, a higher gauge material, must be used on the duct and reinforce the duct because the the heavier metal you put the the head, well you need to put uh, some uh, reinforcement to make sure it, it will hang to the system. And then velocity. When the velocity, you look at the construction of it, that makes sure it's designed right and then because of too much friction, it will produce a lot of uh, velocity and noise. And then leakage. Leakage, you should know, if you got a lot of leakage in the duct, that means you save a lot, you lose a lot of energy and it, it costs a lot of money. And then the fittings. The fittings, you get, uh, as you know, Fittings that you have will put the friction and restriction into the system. Make sure you design the, the right fittings that goes in there. When the air passes through there, if it's not the right size, you got to have a lot of loss in airflow, and then that means it's a lot of money. Okay, I guess that's it for today. My lecture is not uh, giving you, it's not, my lecture is just for educational purposes only. I'm not intending to that you use this when you design your building the the as a code. I want you to I recommend I'm recommending you I'm trying to take myself out of this that you make sure you look at the building code, the standard code, the city code, and all the code, it's BAC code that are applicable in the design of the building and before you can get it approved to the whatever city or inspector what you had. That's all I had for the section two, and I thank you very much. And then I will prepare to make the uh, other part of the section three. Thank you.